Caught on camera, a troubling scene inside the Washington County Jail. An inmate going after the lone deputy. The fight only lasted 30 seconds. But Deputy Daniel Guzman will tell you it was the longest 30 seconds of his life, having to fight off Hayden Davis in jail at the time for breaking into a Beaverton home. There had been no history between us, good or bad, no disciplinary action. Uh, at any point. That was actually the first encounter I've ever had with him. Guzman tells KGW he had just started an overtime shift. The inmates were enjoying some free time. Guzman noticed Davis circling the desk in the middle of the pod. And every time he'd pass in front of my desk, he would just stare at me. I greeted him once and he never said anything back, but he just kept walking. Moments later, Guzman says Davis lunged at him. The deputy says his training kicked in and he shoved Davis to create some space. He charged at me as soon as I got clear from the desk. So that's when I first threw the punch and he ended up on the ground. Guzman says he could have jumped on Davis and cuffed him, but the idea of being on the ground was terrifying. There were more than 50 inmates in the room. At that time, I didn't know who was there to help. I didn't know who was there to not help. He started charging at me again for the third time, and that's when we just started fighting. Fortunately, another inmate did intervene. He grabbed Davis and threw him to the ground. That allowed Guzman to get control of the situation. I'm good. I'm good. I had no issues. Guzman escaped with only some minor injuries to his eye and knuckles. And of course, a story he'll be telling for years to come. A lot of people asked me if I was in fear at that point. And honestly, it happened so quick. There was no time to actually even react to fear. All right, believe it or not, Deputy Guzman finished his shift the day of this attack. Hats off to him. As for Hayden Davis, this morning a judge sentenced him to more than six years in prison for his role in the fight, as well as the original crime that landed him in jail in the first place.